So before we begin, let's get things straight. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to punch me in the face, also hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. What is up everybody? It is Lawrence again and today we have the Nike Free 5.0. So for those who don't know or are not in the know themselves, the Nike Free Line is for minimalist runners for very short distances. It is not designed for long distance running. I'm also not giving you a runner's review of this. I have not run in the shoe because I actually don't like running in them. I've tried in the past and they're painful. And so I don't recommend it for that purpose. I'm already a shitty runner from the very beginning. So these will definitely not help. So with that said, let's start with the upper like we always do. So looking at the very top of this shoe, it's made out of a stretchy mesh done in this red color. You can see that it's actually not that flexible. You can see like, you know, as, as, I'm, I'm, as I'm pushing everywhere in and out, it just, it just kind of is there. I mean, like if you move your toes, it feels good enough. But uh, from overall movement perspective, I actually felt a little constraint over here because of the upper uh, when I bent on the shoe. But that's uh, it's something really, really good to know. The rest of the upper has this kind of felt like material over here. Uh, it's not fused, it is definitely some cheap type of felt that is throughout the toe box over here, the midfoot area, and into the back area as well. Uh, this is the type of material that I absolutely hate uh, the fact that Nike uses, it just feels so cheap. Going to the lacing system, the felt like material is actually the lacing system, so it has holes over here and here, and you also see the white Nike symbol over here as well. Uh, it's also done asymmetrical with rope style lacing. And finally, at the top of the tongue, you have a white Nike swoosh that's done vertically. There are also two hits of 3M. There is the hit of 3M that is on the side, on the lateral side of the shoe. And finally, on the back over here. What is also interesting is there is this kind of like stretchy, meshy material here as well. Uh, and that's done in a coral base color. And uh, one thing to note, is uh, I've been kind of pressing this and I'm not sure if this is something that's in my head or whether or not it's, it's true. I feel like this area that, that's kind of in the coral, that, that's kind of in the middle area, I feel like it's a little harder for stability purposes, but I'm not exactly sure. So if anyone has any ideas, put that in the comments below. Uh, the last thing on the sole is that it says six millimeters and the other one, which is the 3.0 has four millimeters, so it's obviously almost 50% higher than the other one, and you're talking millimeters, so 50% is honestly not that much, but it's, it's definitely noticeable when you're walking around. Going over to the midsole though, it looks exactly the same, it just looks a little taller, and so on the bottom you have these laser cut flex grooves. You can see how flexible the shoe is in both ways, and basically like it's, it's almost like an aqua sock for the most part. It twists and turns and it looks kind of cool when you're seeing the, the sole and everything move around. But the uh, the midsole is basically a phylon midsole. The outsole is basically also the phylon as well. There's nothing special about the EVA. It's all about kind of the, the contours and textures of the sole itself. And then finally you have a little bit of reinforced rubber back here in the green and a little bit more reinforced rubber over here in the toe area where your big toe is. One thing I do want to note is how thin this this uh, this insole actually is, and it actually show, has a graphic of grass here, which is kind of cool. I'm not really sure why they did that, but it, it, it kind of goes with the freedom, right? It's, it's definitely free. So, so the reason I'm reviewing this shoe is I feel like it's a it's a big departure away from the other 5.0s and, and 3.0s that I've seen in the past. They've completely redesigned it, and it looks like a really completely different shoe. It looks pretty sleek, uh, but what are my thoughts? I would say that it's okay. There's there's nothing wrong with the shoe at $100. I, I think it's a, a, an okay price point. I, I feel like it should be a sub $100 shoe. Uh, if you can, if Nike price is at $75 to $90, I feel like these would just completely and utterly fly off the shelves. But the uh, but the comfort level on these is, is decent. I like the flying it upper on the 3.0s a lot more. This this uh, this mesh is not as breathable and it's also a lot less flexible for me personally. As I, as I was going like this with the shoe when I was walking. Um, the upper actually cut into my my toe area a little bit. I would say it was enough to actually bother me, but I'm not sure how long I would feel out over the course of a day. Uh, so I'm not a huge fan of this upper for that reason. Uh, and it's also not that stretchy. For, for a shoe that looks this stretchy, I really wish it did a little more. Uh, underfoot feel, I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, it, it's a lot more stable than I expected. I wouldn't say it's a stable shoe. It's definitely not a supportive shoe. It's none of those things. It's supposed to be barefoot minimalism. But it's it's good enough, and it's it's definitely not bad. It's uh, it's somewhere between an aqua sock in terms of 
in terms of greatness and in, in support and structure, uh, and a regular shoe. So, so I'd say it's in between. So if you like something that that's light and airy and, and easy to walk around in, it's great. Uh, but I wouldn't do it for very long because I really wouldn't recommend the shoe for them. When it comes down to sizing, I went true to size on these and these fit perfectly. So I would also go true to size here. And that's it guys. This is the Nike Free 5.0. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Peace.